Okay, the three commonest cancers among men in Singapore, number one is actually lung cancer, number two is colorectal cancer, and number three is stomach cancer. Uh, among women in Singapore, number one is breast cancer, number two is uh, colorectal cancer, and number three is lung cancer. So these are the common cancers. So I always say if you can tackle these three cancers well, you know, breast cancer, colorectal cancer, and lung cancer, you've actually sorted out 50% of your problem. As far as colorectal cancer is concerned, the early symptoms will include any change in bowel habits, you know, or if you've got any blood in the stools. Many people think when they've got some blood in the stools, they assume that it is due to piles and uh, they just forget about it. But in actual fact, this needs to be properly evaluated by a doctor to be certain that it is piles that is causing the problem and not something that is more ominous, more serious, like colorectal cancer. In the case of breast cancer, we are very fortunate because we can actually detect the large, large majority of breast cancer very early if women go for regular breast self-examination and go for mammography once a year. So that's how you try to detect cancer early and that will help you to increase your chances of a cure. There are four ways of, of uh, detecting cancer. You know, the first way is often from the patient's symptoms, what they complain about. The second is in terms of when the doctor does a physical examination, examines the breast or feels the abdomen, he will get an idea as to whether there's something that's serious or not. The third way is by means of blood tests and the last is by means of some form of invasive investigation like radiologics, uh, evaluation or an endoscopy. That's how we diagnose cancer. There are many advances in cancer management. They start from the point of how we diagnose cancer to the way in which there are surgical advances in the way we operate on cancer to the way radiotherapy is given and to me the biggest, biggest advance is the development of new drugs in the treatment of cancer. And I'll be happy to show you some examples. In this particular case, this upper image is actually a normal CT scan. In this CT scan, you can show it to any radiologist and they will tell you this is a perfectly normal CT scan. A CT scan is able to detect any shadows that should not be there. The difference is, a PET CT scan, you inject a little bit of sugar that is tagged on to a radioactive material. What happens is, we know cancers are very fond of sugar. And the sugar will go to where the cancer is and it lights up like a light bulb. So what may appear as a normal CT scan on a PET CT scan will show where exactly the cancer is. Besides being very good in helping us to diagnose cancer, it is also very good in telling us whether the cancer is responding to treatment. This gentleman came to see us in, a in, in April of 2005. You can see that on this picture, the cancer actually started in the pancreas. All right? And you can see it is here. In addition to being in the pancreas, it has already metastasized to the liver. So this patient with pancreatic cancer has stage 4 disease. The primary is in the pancreas. It has already spread to the liver. Let me show you what happens after we have treated. Note the date. Na? This is April of 2005. By May of 2005, you can see there's no more lighting up. The disease is treated. So even when patients present with advanced stage disease, if you have the right drug and the drug works for the patient, you are still able to get the disease better. I'm not sure whether you can appreciate it, but this is an elderly lady that presented with a very advanced breast cancer on the left side. It measured about 10 centimeters in size. One of her requirements was that she, she knew she needed treatment, but she said, although I'm over 60, I do not want to lose my hair, and that's her hair. All right, as we treated, you can see the tumour gets smaller and disappear. And yet the hair remains intact. The same patient, this is the mammographic picture indicating the large tumour in the right breast and with treatment, the marvellous response that is achieved. So what we are trying to illustrate again is that there are drugs 
whereby you can have excellent results and yet you can avoid some of the side effects which patients are fearful of.